Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Wills with the Tooling Components Group for Shunk USA. And today I would like to cover some basic maintenance procedures for your Tendo hydraulic tool holders. Everything we're gonna to cover today can be found in more detail in the manual and we'll put the link below in the description. So we have some basic hand tools that we're gonna to use today to go through these maintenance procedures. The first is gonna be your Allen wrench for your actuation screw to clamp and unclamp the tool holder. Uh, a bore brush for cleaning the clamping bore of the tool holder. Some clamping force test pens, and some molly coat thread lubricant. First things first, to make sure your tool holder is running at peak performance, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's nice and clean. So when you remove your cutting tool, there's two main surfaces that you wanna make sure are clean on your tool holder. That's the clamping bore where the cutting tool goes and the taper that interfaces with the machine tool. For the clamping bore, we have a bore brush. Simply install the bore brush and gently twist to loosen any dirt, debris, or coolant residue from the machining process. Then you could use your rag to wipe down the taper. And with your holder nice and clean, you can either get ready to move on to the next maintenance procedures or spray it with some light rust inhibitor or corrosion uh, inhibitor to prevent any corrosion if the holder is going to be stored for a long period of time. With the tool holder nice and clean, we can address the first maintenance item that we're gonna talk about today, and that's lubricating the actuation screw. For this maintenance process, the easiest way to do this is to completely remove the actuation screw from the tool holder. This won't cause any damage to the tool holder, as long as you don't bang it on the table or drop it or let it roll around the floor or lose your actuation screw. I recommend keeping it on the Allen wrench, and you take your thread lubricant. We recommend Molly Coat CU7439. Apply a light dab to the threads of the actuation screw. And simply install it back into the tool holder. This maintenance procedure can be done whenever you notice that the actuation screw is dry or that the tool holder begins squeaking when you're tightening down the actuation screw or it simply becomes harder to turn the, the actuation screw to reach the dead stop position. With the actuation screw lubricated, we can move on to the next maintenance item, which is checking clamp force on your Tendo tool holder. For that, we use our Tendo test pins, and the official recommendation is checking your clamp force every 100 tool changes or every three months, whichever one comes first. Using the test pins is very simple. You wanna match the diameter test pin to the diameter tool holder. So in this case, we have a 20 millimeter diameter tool holder, and we reach for the test pin that has 20 etched on the top of it. Simply insert your test pin into the tool holder all the way to the bottom, just like you would a cutting tool, and tighten down your actuation screw to a dead stop also, just like you would a cutting tool. If you cannot remove the pin, the holder is good and ready to make some chips. If the pin can be removed, the holder is ready to be repaired or replaced. That's simple. With that out of the way, we'll take this tool holder and throw it over to our service department. Just kidding. We don't recommend you throw our tool holders, even though we didn't explicitly write it in the manual. With this tool holder getting the TLC it, it deserves, we're ready to remove our test pin, put our new cutting tool in, and start making some chips. If you have any questions about the products we talked about here today, don't hesitate to reach out to the tooling department. Thank you.